So there is this relationship between a parent and child class, and it becomes very peculiar when we deal with instructors. Um, and I, I'd, I'd like to sort of elaborate as to why that may be the case. So we have, um, so we have a class here. So this is class B, right? And of course, practicing B, we have a class which is, which is A. Now, essentially, I mean, there's really no relationship between any of these classes, and we want to establish a relationship, just not yet. So, so A essentially, I mean, so we know uh, characteristic of classes they have constructors, right? And so, the constructor name essentially has to match the, the the name of the class within which it is contained, which is exactly what's happening here, right? And just to sort of signify that we're inside this constructor, if that a later point we'd want to, um, we'll just say, we'll just say inside um, inside parent constructor. Now, parent, I mean the the relationship parent isn't really established yet, but of course we'll get to that uh, when we establish the inheritance relationship. So now here we're in public class B, um, and B two is going to have a constructor, right? And that is essentially going to match again. The name of the class within which it is contained, um, and here just to sort of signify that we're inside the B's constructor, right? What we're what we're going to do is we're going to say we're inside the child constructor. Now again, this relationship hasn't really been established yet, and for good reason. I'm going to show you why. But um, so we have both of these classes, and we have constructors, of course. Now just to sort of demonstrate this here, I'm going to um, sort of have a main method here, public static void main string args, right? And essentially what this is going to do is it's going to instantiate an object of the of the B class, right? It's going to make an object reference. And so we can say, we can use the name of the class um, B object, right? Equals new B, right? And so so here on line 11, this constructor, essentially what happens is if, if this weren't, um, so right now, both, none, of, none of these classes have a relationship, but if we were to add extends here, then all of the methods, instance variables and constructors, uh, which are sort of in the A class are sort of made available to the B class. <coughs> now, what happens is we're gonna comment this out just to sort of demonstrate what happens. But when an object like this is created, uh, essentially what it normally does is it, it, it this particular um, area here where the constructor is specified, the default constructor, it says it goes back to the class B and it says, well, do I have a constructor um, of this variety, this, this default variety? And if the answer is yes, then it prints out whatever's in between that block of code. Um, but that is, of course, if it doesn't extend anything. So if it, if, it, if it were just like this, that's exactly what would happen. It would say, um, it would go to, it, when, you, when you instantiate an, ob, uh, an object of the B class, it goes to the class from which the object is derived and it checks if there is a constructor of this variety. And if there is, then it will print out essentially what is inside that particular block of code for that constructor, which has been identified um, by the main method. And we can see that's exactly what happens, right? I mean, when we do this here, we, we say inside the child constructor, that's what happens. But when we do extends A, an inheritance relationship is established, and A becomes the parent to B, and B now essentially becomes the child to A. And so what happens is B, this, this particular area signifies that there's a constructor locate this constructor of this variety. And it does, it goes to the class, but before locating it, it essentially recognizes that um, that B extends A. And so then it goes to A first, right? The parent, it has, a, it has higher priority to essentially execute whatever is inside the parent. And so it then, I mean, if this is not commented out, what it's going to do is it's going to essentially, um, it's going to print out this uh, particular um, constructor first, and then the constructor that we have in the B class. So essentially what we're expecting here is B signifies that there is a constructor within 
the P class, but then now when you, when the compiler reaches this class for B, it recognizes that B extends A and then go back to A, is there a constructor? Yes, there is. And then we print out this constructor and then we print out B's constructor. And so what we should be expecting is, uh, we, should, we should expect inside parent constructor and then inside the child constructor. Inside parent constructor, inside the child constructor. So the parent constructor is really given priority here. So whatever really follows extends is essentially the parent, whereas B in this particular case would be the child. So if B extends A, A is the parent. If fruit extends mango, mango is the parent. Um, and so that inheritance relationship is established and um, the parent's constructor is given, given a higher priority, right? 